Mindset is a new VR puzzler on Quest that positions you as a man who's barely survived a plane crash. You're stuck in a coma that you're trying to get out of by solving metaphorical mechanical puzzles, fitting gears together on the surfaces of cubes to activate and resolve them, thus moving you on to the next part of the map, unlocking your path to recovery and hopefully saving your life. It's a decent enough premise, as many puzzlers don't even bother to provide much of a narrative framework at all, sometimes relying on drawing you in with a zen-like environment where you work your way through the provided puzzles. I have to give Carbon Studios some credit for that. In some ways, Mindset reminds me of games like Skybinder and Cubism, but perhaps more Cubism because of the reliance on hand tracking. Like those games, Mindset provides you with one puzzle at a time and soothes you with ambient music while you solve it. When done right, this kind of game can be a great way to spend time in VR, giving you some mental exercise while providing the satisfaction of seeing a puzzle click together when solved. Unfortunately, and you might have already figured this out just by watching me fumble with the cube and the gears in this video, Mindset's hand tracking implementation is clumsy and makes the game infinitely more frustrating than it should be. Whether it's grabbing the cube to rotate it, grabbing gears to move them, letting go to put them in place, or pushing or moving the little buttons or knobs on the cube, almost every action took more than one try to accomplish. I was so frustrated with the hand tracking that I gave up at some point and picked up the controllers, hoping that the game would support them as a more practical alternative, only to find that the controller implementation was also quite poor, seemingly added as an afterthought. You can't grab the cube to rotate it, for instance, you have to flick the thumbsticks. Why? Why are you doing this to me, Carbon Studio? Why? The graphics are generally good, and the voice acting isn't bad, although some of the writing is unnecessarily clunky, and it's a shame because the actual narrative is intriguing. I just wish the controls made it a more fluid experience. Here's hoping for a patch that fixes the controls, but meanwhile, unless you've already played them to completion, I'd highly recommend you play Cubism for your hand tracking puzzler fix, and if you don't care about hand tracking so much, there's a whole bunch of games that will scratch your puzzler itch with far more satisfaction. Skybinder, Gravity Labs, Varum VR, the list goes on. I hope you found this video useful, it's YouTube so you know what to do if you did like it. Have a great day, and see you soon with more VR games. Bye-bye.